Good evening internet peeps, it's Colin again and I'm a bit beside myself because well, something I just planned worked out exactly as I wanted to and things don't often happen that way for me but we'll talk our way through it and um, I'll hope you'll be as just as, as amazed as I was and still am Today, um, Dave did see how bad this was this is... Um, a 70s um, Starship Enterprise and this was in pieces when I bought it and I've given it a quick lick of paint and I've made a new sort of like um, um, an array dish at the front and it's not really the purpose of this video but I thought I'd just whack it in there um, it's meant to it's quite interesting this old one because it's all well mostly die cast um, pallets go in there and when you turn this it actually f fires torpedoes um, yeah, these can be quite expensive in good condition, so it's nice to have one. So, that's uh, just one of the things today. We've also had a delivery from Graham, Small Wheels. He's been selling quite a lot of his collection. And today, I've managed to get this, which is just awesome. Um, for the uninitiated... This is a Kingswood, and I've been looking for these. You just can't buy them for love nor money. And luckily, I didn't get the lead sled. Um, I did chase it, but it went for silly money as they do. But to be fair, I'm quite happy with the standard ones. Um, uh, this is sort of like the brown and with the wood paneling. Um, the hoods do open rather nicely, wide as well. So you can see the detail in there. But these are um, a, um, a secondary to what I've got to show you. But anyway, that one has got sort of like an open headlight front. Okay, I can hope you can see that. Maybe I can pull the light across a bit. There we go. I'll give you a bit more light. Um, you can see the headlights there. But this one, the black one, which is hard to find, has the um, headlight shields closed. All metal. Rubber tyres, all black. The tailgates don't open on these, um, but the hoods do open tremendously well. There you go, lovely detail in there again. Very impressed. Uh, I have looked and looked and looked, and so lucky to eventually found these. Very good. Matte black, brown interior, lovely wheels. Nice details on the back. Nice car. To get have two of them, I'd have been happy with one, but to get, to get two is brilliant. This is the Vista Cruiser. These are all green light, by the way. I have got the brown one of these, and I buckled the bonnet, because the bonnet on my brown one, this is a separate piece, and I tried to open it. So don't try and do that, because it doesn't open. Um, why they can't do the tailgate and the hood is beyond me, but they don't. But it does open very nicely in the tailgate and that's sort of like a uh, blue with uh, wood panelling and it's got um, a roof rack on that one as it as the other two nice um, I did pick that one was quite cheap now this D100 Ford um, I've had for a long long time um, I picked up by itself I think it was loose um, but I've recently got this from Graham. Um, from, no, was it from Graham? Um, oh gosh, I can't remember who I picked this up from now. This wasn't from Graham. I, I picked this up loose. And I'm quite happy with that because it matches this entirely. I don't know whether there was a set when they came together. But I particularly like Turtle Wax. And this is um, an Airstream Safari. Nice wheels. Turtle Wax is cool what I used to max wax my mini with back in the day and it, it just looks brilliant and um, together with that it's absolutely on the money to be fair absolutely on the money that's the best I think I just found out if I tilt the the um, the uh, display I can see better <laughs> that's brilliant the small things this is a bit of a find as well about this cheap and um, this is Kyosho and these are quite rare and hard to find and this is a Ferrari, sorry, um, Lamborghini uh, Mucilago. I like orange so this is especially good for me 
and the black always looks good against the orange. Black interior. Uh, I presume it's a metal brace and it's, well it might be plastic, it is plastic, but it's screwed together. Um, oh it's got a tiny little aerial, I don't know if you can see that tiny little aerial on top. I've only got a couple of Kyoshos, I have got um, a Nissan. Now this one, I've got to have a look at this one, but I'm so chuffed to get this one. It's a Crown, let me get it right, uh, a Dodge Royal Lancer. Um, but I like this because this is a racing car and I didn't think I'd win this one either but I did. Um, I paid a little bit more than the nice 9p I paid for the next one but I um, oh, just had to have it. It just looks right. The sort of like um, Primer Grey with the 57. I haven't got any of this um, particular casting and to actually find one that's uh, 1957 it says on the back. So I have to actually find one that's got the racing livery on it. Chuffed. This one is a Shuko, which I particularly like because they're all metal. An R8. Um, the wheels could have been better, but um, they're rubber. Tyres, um, nice detail on the front. Still a great buy. Didn't pay a lot for that. Got lens detail on the back, dual exhaust. I'm so excited about... This is what I'm excited about can't contain myself and this checker cab believe it or not i paid 99p for this i'm so chuffed um because i like checker cabs anyway but um this is a little bit more unusual because it's standard uh lovely gold color the hood opens as you just saw um very nice uh, grill detail there all metal real riders that is a great car but let's um just move these away and I'll show you the primary um, purpose of this video. And I don't want to, um, I could show more cars because I've got lots to show, but I don't want to dilute this because more of you might be interested in it and want one yourselves. Right, I've been looking at mouse mats, um, and this is one of my cars. I took this picture myself uploaded it to Amazon and within two weeks I've been sent this for £15 I'm under no sort of commission I'm just amazed oh it actually goes over here as well as more cars it's um 90 centimeters by 40 centimeters and as you can see the quality of the printing is exceptional and all these cars I have, just in case you're wondering, I have all these cars and I haven't shown them yet. That's how many cars I've got that I haven't shown. And this is only um, only a few. There's um, there's a blown delivery over there. There's a BJ in the bear. There's um, a couple of planel trucks up there that'll have the bike in the back. There's the new um, the blue one up here. That's the new um, Silverado from Johnny Lightning. This is the um, Poison Pinto, and this is the um, RLC membership card, the um, Nissan Skyline, is it? Um, this is, actually, this is a wheel swap, I did this one. This is a, um, a recent um, Majorette, and I've changed the wheels out on it because it had terrible wheels, and... This one, I'll show them all in full course. This is a base swap I did. This is a standard Silverado, um, a Hot Wheels, and I switched it, switched it with a Silverado from the Boulevard, if any of you recognise those wheels. Um, there's a couple over there you can just see. This is a Texas Drive Um It's sort of like um, Spectre Flame Red. Very tough to find, very lucky to have it. Some of you might have already picked out the Full Guy truck. GMC and um, this one is the oh good grief I can't remember GMC motorhome and that's my favorite because it's Atari 2600 and um, can't remember that offhand but it's a fuel truck I've got a couple of those quite a rare one of those and um, this one's an RLC I'm pretty sure that one is uh, this is from the um, Flying Customs and this one's from the Garage series 
Um, that one's another base swap for the Silverado. Um, you've seen those. That's my um, uh, Mad Max car, and this is another Mad Max. There's um, a GTX, is it? A GTX? I can't think now. But that's um, an RLC car as well. Uh, this um, silver one is from the Classics one. I think it's a wedge, but I'm not sure. This is Buddy's, Buddy Refton's car. Um, this is an early Hot Wheels. I really like that one. And this one behind is, I think it's an M2. Um, sorry, excuse the white paint from where I've been painted today. Uh, this is a uh, Barracuda, and I particularly like the Barracuda. So... Um, if you've got any questions about those, let me let, about that. Let me know, because it's awesome, and I'm just it's it's exactly as I imagined it would be. But I thought, oh, there's bound to be something that goes wrong. I must. Ex oh, I just show you this. It is just like a mouse mat. This one. Okay, so it's good quality. As you can see, it's stitched, well, sealed and unstitched at the corners. So it is good quality. It's not like rough. It's not you getting them. Um, you're getting uh, your own picture and it's printed on something that's terrible. It isn't. It's it's it's, it's a, a nice quality. The quality of the printing's good. I'm more than pleased. It's exactly as I thought it would be. Now this I've seen shown on a, on a few channels on YouTube. And I don't think they really explain what it is or how it's made. Um, they're all for showing you how cars park on it and things like that. And... They show it off with things on it, which is all well and good, but you need to know what it's like. And I wasn't that fussed on it, but when it actually arrives, the quality is exceptional. It's not like a mouse mat. This is more rigid and better quality. So, um, I mean, a mouse mat would do for the job, but this is even better quality. Um, it's by Mini GT. I bought mine for about ten pounds, but then usually between ten and fifteen. Exceptional quality um, would look on anybody's good in anybody's um, anybody's excuse me there um, anybody's um, videos when they're doing them on YouTube. Looks quite impressive, um, but um, some of the ones that are shown on YouTube by certain channels are very very expensive. I did look into them. And I ruled it out, um, and that's why I came up with this. And the thing is with this, you can have any picture you like. So, okay, it has to fit, and they've manipulated my picture to fit in almost perfectly, which is brilliant. I'd, I, I couldn't have done it any better myself. But you could have a street plan on here, you could draw it yourself, so anything you want for a scenario to do your videos you can do with one of these you could also have it as a background if you wanted it as background it's that reasonably priced you could use it for almost anything it's good to protect tables I've got one I'll put this all go in front of my television so I can look at cars while I'm looking at television I love cars that much but um, the world map ones is the um, were the first ones I got and you can I've just picked up one of those for seven pounds and they're very good I can't get it because it's full of cars but uh, at the moment because it's in front of my television and it's got all the new cars I've had in um, but I hope you agree with me that this is just brilliant contact me and I'll give you some details about how to get one um, the 15 pounds which I would have thought is about oh I know 18 19 dollars um, you might have to pay, um, obviously, um, postage on top of that. Uh, postage in the UK is free if you're in the UK. Um, but I think you're going to have a hard time getting something better for less. Um, I was expecting it to be, well, this is how I wanted it to be. But I thought it might turn out, well, a bit shoddy. And I thought, oh, it's, it's worth... If you don't have a go, you're never going to find anything as good as this. And I had a go. I had an idea. This is what I would make if I had the money and I was physically able. And usually when I have an idea, 
somebody else has already thought of it because there's a lot of bright people out, out there and then you think right it stops you know it stops in the mind of, of me having to do it and um i can see why this person has started the business doing this and i will i've already put a picture on amazon of the one i've made or had made for me i should say and i will give them very good feedback about it and for a small fee i'd let them use my picture anyway um i hope you really enjoy that and I'm uh, very full of myself, as you can tell, but when th something turns out exactly as you wanted it to, it's um, not very often that happens. So take care, and I'll catch you in the next edition. Bye.